Once upon a time, a girl named Dorothy lived on a farm with her aunt and uncle. Hi, I'm Dorothy. Dorothy had a little dog named Toto who was always getting in trouble with the mean old neighbor, Mrs. Gulch. Oh, Toto, Mrs. Gulch said you dug up her flower bed, and when she went to hit you with a stick, you made like to bite her. Is that true? Oh, Toto, I know you didn't mean any harm, but you have to stay out of trouble, or she will take you to the dog pound, or worse. That must be Uncle Henry. Uh, Dorothy? Dorothy? Are you in here? Yes, Uncle Henry. Uh, Miss Gulch just stopped by, and she said that Toto has been in some mischief again. Oh, please don't let her take her to the dog pound, Uncle Henry. Uh, dog pound? No, no, no. You're, you're just under house arrest, both of you. House arrest? For a dog, that's a really bad idea. Well, whatever. I mean, it just means you and the dog can't leave the house, okay? Okay. Can't leave the house? Hmm. Toto, I think it's time you and I ran away. Oh, and I uh, don't think of running away or anything, because uh, there's a tornado coming, okay? Tornado? I guess we should all be getting into that storm cellar you built on the opposite side of the field. Oh, no, you're not going anywhere. You're on uh, house arrest. All right, good luck with the tornado. Hmm, I better take a look. Maybe that tornado's not that bad. Maybe it's just a false alarm. Oh. Well, that ain't good. We're just gonna have to ride this one out, Toto. But the tornado lifted the house up into the air. Somebody make it stop! Then the tornado dropped her house to the ground. I think it's over, Toto. We better go see if Uncle Henry's okay. Whoa! Toto, I got a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Whoa, Toto, you've changed so much. I better carry you the rest of the movie. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? I'm not a witch at all. Who are you? <laughs> well, you must be a witch, because only a witch could have killed the Wicked Witch of the East. I didn't kill any witch. Well, then how do you explain that? Whoa, that person's having a bad day. So are you a good witch or a bad witch? Like I said, I'm not a witch at all. Witches are mean and ugly and... <laughs> What was that? Why, those are munchkins, and they are laughing, because I am a witch, and I am not ugly. Right? What? Oh, oh, yeah, sorry, no offense intended. Um, what are munchkins? They're the little people who live in munchkin land. See? Hello! Whoa, they sure are, um... Don't say short, because they get really offended by that. Uh, uh, pretty, yeah, pretty, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> They're pretty giggly, too. They're happy because you dropped your house on the Wicked Witch of the East, and now they can live in peace. Oh, uh, that was an accident. That wasn't me at all. The tornado dropped the house on her. I just happened to be in the house. Wait, how'd it get so small? Things in Oz are just not always as they seem. Oz? I thought you said we were in Munchkin Land. Oz is the name of the entire land. Munchkin Land is what one part. You also have Emerald City, the Poppy Fields, the Haunted Forest, you know. Haunted Forest? You probably won't have to worry about it unless you're afraid of flying monkeys. Uh, how do I go about getting home? Well, I suppose the Wizard of Oz could help you. He's in Emerald City. 
Uh, I was kind of hoping you could do it with your magic, but um, if I have to walk to another city, that's fine. Speaking of walking, we'd better give you the ruby slippers. I love those funky socks. How do the shoes fit? What? Perfect fit, almost suspiciously so. <laughs> Am I missing something? Is there something inherently funny about shoes being a perfect fit? Oh, the munchkins are just joyful. Anyway, be sure to keep those shoes tight on you because they will protect you from the Wicked Witch of the West. Wicked Witch of the West? I thought the house just killed her. Oh no, that is her sister that you just killed with your house. The Wicked Witch of the West is much meaner, and we will be very mad that you killed her sister with your house. Great! And for the record, I didn't do it. She shouldn't have been outside during a tornado anyway. So I guess you'll just be off to Oz now, right? Right? Oh geez, you seem like you're in a hurry to get rid of me. It's easy to go to Oz. All you have to do is follow that yellow brick road. Follow that yellow brick road? Follow that yellow brick road! That's kind of catchy. Alright, come on, Toda. Farewell! Alright, munchkins, get back to work. <laughs> and stop laughing at everything, jeez. And so Dorothy and Toto began to follow the yellow brick road. Suddenly, Dorothy stopped. There before her stood a scarecrow. Oh, you're just a scarecrow. For a second, I thought you were a real person. That's okay. Happens all the time. So are you a talking scarecrow or a person? I'm a scarecrow. Uh, so I noticed the yellow brick road kind of branches off here. So do you know which way I should go? Well, that depends where you're going. Are you going to the Haunted Forest by chance? No, I'm actually looking to avoid the Haunted Forest. I'm going to Oz. Well, in that case, I think you want to go that way. I'm pretty sure that's where I just came from. Well, that's what happens when you ask someone for directions who doesn't have a brain. Uh, you don't have a brain? Okay. Nope, never had a brain. Kind of wish I did, but nope. Why are you going to Oz anyway? I'm going to go see the Wizard of Oz. He's supposed to be able to help send me home. Oh, do you think maybe he could get me a brain too? Uh, sure, why not? Well, do you mind if I join you? Maybe you could use a bodyguard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess you kind of know your way around. Come on. Oh, that's splendid! I'm going to get my brain. I'm going to get my brain. We're going to see the Wizard of Oz. I'm going to get my brain. Oh, so we're doing musical numbers now? Maybe! Let's go get my brain. Let's go get my brain. Let's go see the Wizard of Oz and let's go get my brain. And so the Scarecrow joined Dorothy and they headed down the yellow brick road. But suddenly they stopped. What is that? I don't know, Dorothy. Wait, I never told you my name. Help me! Help me! Is he saying help me? Sounds like it, Dorothy. How do you need us to help you? Oil! Oil! Need oil! Oil? I don't have any oil. Do you have any oil? No, I, I don't think... Oh, oh, wait a minute. I got, I got the, the spray oil, um, uh, oh wait, I, I got the, uh, the synthetic, um, that I have your, your traditional motor oil, um, oh, oh and, I, and I have uh, some three in one, uh, what can I do you for? Okay, traditional it is. There you go, I think that should do the trick, don't you think? Thank you! Thank you so much! I'm Dorothy. What's your name? I'm the Tin Woodsman. I was out chopping wood one day and it started raining. I couldn't get the shelter and so I rusted. But tin doesn't really rust, really. Maybe oxidize, but not really rust. I mean, I think if you're a tin man, you'd know. She's right, you know. 
Then again, I don't have a brain, so I could be wrong. Anyway, there I sat, unable to move. Just alone in my thoughts for the longest time. Oh, well, uh, all's well that ends well. We'll be seeing ya. Wait a minute, not so fast. You wouldn't be going to odds, would you? Uh, maybe? Oh, we sure are, my friend. I'm going to see the Wizard of Oz, and he's going to give me a brain. Do you really have to tell everyone everything all the time? Wow, what a coincidence. I was thinking of going to see the wizard on account of I don't have a heart. Oh, you don't have a heart, so then I guess you're truly heartless. <laughs> yep, I'm a tin man, no heart at all. But maybe the wizard can fix it. Shall I join you? Mm, I don't know. Oh, come on, Dorothy. He might be useful, you know. Fine. Oh boy, yay! I'm gonna get a heart. I'm gonna get a heart. I'm gonna see the Wizard of Oz and he will give me a heart. Wait, how come he's singing the exact same melody you were singing? I don't know. Let's go! And so the three went off to see the wizard. But suddenly they stopped. <laughs> oh no, the wicked witch of the West. You killed my sister, and now I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. So that was part one of The Wizard of Oz. Sorry, folks, this was just too big to fit into one episode. So join us next week for part two of Wizard of Oz. In the meantime, why not follow Baby Teeth 4 on Instagram? If you're not following us on Instagram, you're missing out. We post new pictures, stories, and videos every day. Hey, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps. And make sure to subscribe to Baby Teeth 4, as well as our other channels, Baby Teeth More and the Jillian and Addie channel. See you next week. Goodbye. Wait, where's the scarecrow? Where's the Tin Man?